were unable to compete in the tournament, they lost their spot. This year, they are healthy. Fuerza says that shoulder is now 100% and they are ready to go here tonight. Yeah, these guys absolutely hungry. They were supposed to take on the SSB last year. Tonight, they're gonna get that opportunity at Redemption to make a name for themselves here in Smash Wrestling. What would it do for them if they're able to upset the, the SSB? Oh, we'll put them into the finals of the FIFA League Tag Team Tournament, which gets them one step closer to that number one contender spot to the Smash Wrestling Tag Team titles. Standing in their way is Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, a very different looking SSB to what we saw last year in the tournament, Brad. Well, the SSB have gone through some sort of identity crisis in the past year. They've become evil, they've become twisted, they've become sadistic. And I mean, it has to do a lot with, uh, in my opinion, the Beast King. Well, of course it does. I don't know does. what the alignment is, but there's something going on there and it has changed everything we know about the SSB. The SSB played a big hand in helping the Beast King FDM become the new Smash Wrestling Champion. And, uh, well, Brad, let's face it, they were a big reason why Tyson Dukes is suspended from this tournament. We have no idea. They have put this entire tournament into disarray because we don't know who that eighth team is now with, with the suspension of Tyson Dukes. Well, they've turned the thing upside down. I mean, we... We had eight teams, now we have seven. It's called the Faithful Eight Tournament. For I mean, I'm assuming we have to have an eighth team. Does that mean, that does Brent Banks get a new partner? Is Brent Banks out of the tournament? We, we have more questions than answers about what's going on with the first round. But right here, right now, this tournament is getting off in a big way here. It looks like Stu Grace is gonna kick things off for the SSB, Von Vertigo for Fight or Flight. There's the bell. And the 2018 Faithful 8 Tag Team Tournament now officially underway. Oh, this thing's going to be good. If you're fight or flight, everything's on the line here, Scott. You have absolutely... Oh, hang on a sec. Oh! oh Evil went... Uno with a distraction, ripping Gabriel Forza off the ring. Where the hell did he come from? I think he came from under the ring, but now Grayson stomping away on Vertigo. And that's exactly the new attitude that we've seen of the SSB. Well, and, and Brad, we talked about earlier on their way to the ring how Fight or Flight was supposed to be in this tournament last year. As now, the SSB with a handful of hair, right to the back. We talked about how they were supposed to be in this tournament last year, Brad, and the of course the injury to Gabriel Fuerza, but how must Von Vertigo feel? He was healthy, he was still ready to go in the tournament, but due to the fact he had no partner, wasn't able to enter the tournament. So he must be seething and chumming a bit in this matchup here. Well, he's absolutely gotta be inspired, fired up, everything about it. I mean, you're right, he was healthy. Oh, hey, oh, oh my God! Where's the launching his partner into a hurricanrana there? That was beautiful. And now Fighter Flight is picking up the pace here, Brad. A kick combination by Fighter Flight. Oh, hang on. That's a classic SSB tag team move. But that is the old SSB. That might have, uh, that might be a death wish. Oh, up and over. Out goes Grayson and Uno. And now we're about to see why these guys are called fight or flight bread. They brought the fight, now they're gonna bring the flight. Stereo Su suicide dives. Oh. oh no! They got blocked by both members of the SSB and just like that, this tide of this matchup has changed. Von Vertigo kneed in the face, he went crashing into the apron. And Gabriel flares a backdrop onto the apron. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, this is uncomfortable now. Well, and this is exactly the way the SSB likes things to go in their direction. They like the, the fact that their opponents feel uncomfortable. Brad, I think they like the fact that you and I feel uncomfortable when they're in the ring there. Uh, they're, they're just, 
they're not just in it to, to win matches anymore. They're, they're here to hurt people, and they seem to enjoy doing it. Oh! It's all about inflicting as much pain and damage as possible. Well, that is the, the MO of this, this new SSB, for lack of a better term. I mean, new, usually new and improved goes together. I mean, these guys are just new and nasty. Well, and Fight or Flight has been out of Smash Wrestling for so long because of that injury to Fuerza. And by the looks of this matchup now, is that they were better off. Oh! That sounded like he just chopped through the chest of Von Vertigo. Well, Von Vertigo, not a... They're just these ruthless punches raining down the face of Vertigo. He's not an overly huge guy. I mean, those chops will... Oh. They'll mess you up. Yeah. And now, now, what is Stu Grayson doing here? Oh! Oh, my goodness. Throat first into the middle rope goes Vertigo, and this, this thing might be over. Scott, not only that, throat first, yes, but then right after, the knees... He comes crashing down onto the knees, and that's gonna that's gonna hurt your kidneys. That's gonna hurt your back, your spine. And you can see the frustration of Fuerza as he can do nothing but watch as his partner is being decimated here by the SSB. And again, smart move by Grayson, moving Vertigo back into the SSB corner, far away from his partner. And there's Uno once again taking Fuerza off the off the apron. Oh, big splash into the corner. This is Tag Team Wrestling 101, and Brad, of all the teams that are in this tournament, the SSB have been teaming together the longest. Does that give them a leg up? I think it does. It definitely gives them some sort of advantage, uh, definitely in the familiarity department. I mean, you travel the road with these guys, you, you basically become brothers. And, uh, I mean, the SSB, they've been doing it for longer. They, they know each other so well. That being said, there's more footage to scout on them. When you look at a team... Like, like Kill Screen. I mean, there's not a lot of footage of Kill Screen as a team. As Uno just nearly takes Vertigo's head off and recover here in a kick out. And the, the, there's not a lot of footage as, of Kill Screen as a team. They've, they've only been teaming. I mean, I think they've only had a few matches together. We know that they're not on the same page mentally. Does that give them a leg up due to the unstable nature of the team? Oh, the fact that they're not on the same page, I don't see how that would give them a leg up, but. I, I, I do get your point though, Brad, that the newer tag teams tend to actually, in this tournament, it seems to be to their advantage. Look at the first Faithful Light Tag Team Tournament. Look the at well the second. The Well Oil Machines won the first ever tag team tournament. The second one, Kevin Bennett did it by himself with, he, with Frankie, <laughs> Tia, the, Frankie TM as his, you know. As his partner. Well, and that's it. Those are both teams that have been teaming together for very little time in that match. So, Brad, maybe, you know what, maybe you're right. Maybe there's something to that, to that point. Vertigo. Vertigo now reaching, fingertips away from his partner, trying to get Fuerza into this match, but there's a blind oh. tag made there by Uno, but Vertigo had it scattered. I don't even know if he hit him on purpose or not. And he makes the tag. tag! Gabriel Fuerza, now the legal man. Oh! A spin kick by Fuerza. And the pace is picking up once again in this matchup. Hang on! A Dragon Rana by Fuerza, head of steam. Whoa! Oh, a little bit of a 619 action there. It's a 416, Scott. Slingshot face buster. Fuerza's us in like a house of fire. But he allowed Uno to make the tag there, Brad. I don't think Fuerza noticed that. Yeah, Fuerza just a step off from preventing that tag to happen. Blind tag by Vertigo. Sunset flip attempt here. I don't think it, Grayson knows the tag was made. I don't think Grayson cares. Oh, hang on a second here. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Whoa! Are you kidding me? Fight or flight! This is they it! Gotta steal this one! How the hell did Stu Grayson kick out of that, Brad? He got spiked head first into the mat, and he has no idea where he is even. Unbelievable tag team offense by Fight or Flight, proving why they're one of the most electrifying tag teams in the business. Tag made. Here comes Fuerza. That was probably the most fluid DDT I've ever witnessed. Could be looking for the double stop on Prettier. Oh. Tag made here as Evil Uno back in there. And Uno, oh, just an overhand right, taking out Von Vertigo. And Uno, oh. this, is, this is what Uno is so good at and the dynamic that he has in this SSB tag team. He's so good at slowing the pace right back down. And, that's and the SSB is very much like a starting pitcher who can mix up fastballs and curveballs. Someone who can change the pace, catch your opponents off guard. That's exactly what the SSB is all about. Evil Uno slows this thing down to make it 
favorable to him. He doesn't care who he's wrestling. If he works a slower style, then he generally has the advantage. Oh, a kick right to the back of the head there of Uno. And here comes Fuerza again. Oh! oh! With some unique offense here from Fighter. Right Fighter to cross. Vertigo! Cover! Two, is it enough? It's not. Evil Uno gets the shoulder up, and that's the second time in this match that Fight or Flight has been able to catch the SSB off guard and nearly steal a victory here, Brad. Well, the Fight or Flight, they might have the SSB's number here, Scott. They've, it's been two real, real close. Oh, no! But, Brad, let's not forget, this is only, this matchup here is only step one of the process. The winner of this goes into a fatal four-way tag team finals. And in that matchup, all bets are off, but oh. this match here, you really have to get your oh. ticket to the dance. I think they just break the nose of Vertigo. And again, Vertigo's nose might be broken. This is another thing that the SSB does, right? They, they like to bully around the officials, knowing they won't get disqualified because they intimidate half the officials here in Smash Wrestling. Oh, oh my god, what a knee! Knee right to the face of Fuerza. And then a knee and right to the face of Von Vertigo. And you saw the way Evil Uno was holding the arms back. Vertigo had no way to protect himself. And now the SSB. If they hit this, it's over. Oh, but where's I able to... Jack hang on cover. Here, hang on, hang Jack on. cover! Oh, and Uno gets the shoulder up. Where's a Came to the same as partner, and once again, they almost stole this thing. Well, fight or flight right now seems to have the SSB's number. These guys are having the match of their lives here tonight, Brad, Big and they need it. Big time super kick. Mexican backpack. Looking for the Vonton bomb. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Virgo into the cover, two and no! oh, Grayson dragging the official out of the ring. And Vaughn Vertigo can't believe it, yelling at the referee. Look Here comes out! Vertigo! To the floor goes Vaughn Vertigo. Soaring through the sky is Vertigo as he takes out Grayson. Fuerza now stalking Evil Uno. Oh, looking for that. Oh! oh! And a blade low blow, but the official is on the outside trying to take care of that carnage. Didn't see it. And oh no, Grayson. Oh! Bane Breaker onto the ring apron. Tag made. And now the SSB. If they hit this punt kick pile driver. Oh, there's a punt, there's a, oh my God, what a pile driver. That's got, it's gotta be academic here, Scott. The SSB advancing to the finals. Here's this contest. And advancing to the fatal four-way final, the SSB! Alan's gonna put the spotlight back on us. We're gonna re the really And fans, let's not forget, later on tonight, we're gonna see another first round matchup here in the Faithful Eight Tag Team Tournament as Killscreen is set to take on TDT. And Brad, Killscreen, a very interesting, weird dynamic that they've had as of late. You witnessed Scotty O'Shea attack Kevin Blackwood multiple, multiple times, times after yeah. the matchups. And, uh, well, uh, why not? Let's 